Hi guys, I'm going to make an updated video of my quick beaded weft. So what I do is I start with the weft, which is a track of hair like this. And you can either do a single or you can double it. Put two pieces together and make it thicker. Either way works great. I do both. So I'm going to start with just one because it's a little easier to show. So I take my weft, I part the client's hair, you can do a U part or a straight part. Take my weft, measure it, and then I cut off whatever edges I need so that it fits the hairline. I take my clips to secure it, flip it on like this and like this, one on each side. Then I get my tool with the beads and my rat tail comb and my plier to clamp. So how I start is I have this side secured with the clip. I take this side off and I start in the middle. So what you want to do is take a section of the client's hair and put it up. Take your weft, put it back and secure it in place. It's just easier and cleaner to work with it that way. You take your top piece, your top section. So what we're going to do is take a section of the hair from underneath the weft and a section of hair of the weft. So you have three pieces, three sections. You have a section of the hair, a section of the weft, and a section of the client's hair from underneath. So essentially you're sandwiching the weft onto the client's head with the client's hair. Take your tool with the beads, through slide on a bead. Now the trick here is not to pull it too tight. If you pull this too tight and clamp it, it's going to stick out like that. So what you want to do is pull down Move the bead to where it's not too tight, just underneath the weft, and clamp it so that it lays flat. You can go this way or that way. I'm going to go this way because it's easier for me to reach. Take that off. Take a section of the client's hair from the top. You can put it up while you secure your weft back. Take your top section, thread another bottom section from underneath, and include a little piece of the weft hair. That way it keeps it from sliding back and forth. You're gonna pull it down so it's a neat and clean section. Thread your bead on. Pull the hairs so they're all neat and flat. You can pull it down and slide your bead up to where it's just underneath the weft and clamp so it lays flat. section of hair, section from under, including the weft, just keep it secure, thread your bead, Pull out 
out some of the stray hair so it doesn't pull or damage any of the client's hair. Pull down, move your bead up a little, and clamp so it stays flat and neat. You want to keep your sections always flat and neat. And so it's secure. This isn't going to go anywhere. And you're just going to keep going all the way around. Take a section. On top. Over. And how I do the edges, I have another video which I can link down below to show how I secure the edges so they don't become loose. Always make sure to pull the hairs flat and straight on the top and the bottom because this is the top of the client's hair, this is the bottom of the client's hair, and this is the extension hair. So we want to make sure they're all together and laid flat. Going back now, you can see it's secure, it's not going anywhere. 